Okay, guys, let's continue this. Now, what we are going to have here is part eight, okay? So, as I said, we will try to uh, remove most of these end gates and OR gates here and some NOT gate, okay? So, let me, okay, so here, what we are going to do here is to remove this bunch of and gauge combination, okay? So let me just try to uh, understand what this logic is trying to do, okay? So we have here, okay? Now, so this is true and trip. Actually, this trip is already considered here. So we can, uh, we can remove this one, okay? We can remove this, okay? So we're able to remove this one. Okay, then I will try to remove this also. I will try to remove this. Okay, now. Okay, so we have one end gate here, which is missing one input. Okay, then. So this logic is tied uh, related to time schedule. Okay. Okay, which time is schedule? And of course, this condition is also true. Then that is one reason to start the uh, our exhaust pan. Okay, but here we have here gen set. Did we consider gen set here? Did we consider gen set? So we did not consider the gen set, okay. Then, okay. Okay, so we need to, okay. So I will remove this, I will remove this, okay. I will remove this, okay. Then I will try to remove also That one, let's see. What is that one? Ah, uh, okay. EF damper. Okay, so EF damper. Okay, so I will try to remove also this. Let's see what is left here. Is this one? Let's just try to connect it here. Okay, now. Now let's try to remove this here so that okay first let me remove this delete node okay so we just want to create more space so this is for the EF maintenance so I will put it here okay okay now let's build up the expression block here. Okay. So let's see expression. So I will select expression. Okay. So how are we going to build our expression here? If this is true, okay, and this is true, operator enable, F1, well, okay, so meaning, uh, okay, so let me have an expression here, okay, okay, here, so A, again, I will use, and B, okay, now I'm using an expression here, so if time schedule, so time schedule, okay, maybe later we will try to, Simplify it again. Okay, so let me just build my expression blocks. Okay, if time schedule and this is true, okay, then I could say start start it. Oh, but we need to consider the the damper opening, the EF damper. Okay, so EF damper. Okay, then I will add a little more. Input here, okay. That will be C. Okay. Now, okay, let's try to 
delete node, you can delete node. So I said I want my logic to be four. More good looking. Okay, now I need my number status here. Okay, so I need to use this number status. Okay. Let me go here. Okay, so this is dump EF damper status. So I need this inputs here. Okay. Okay. So meaning if time schedule. Let's say the time schedule for the maintenance. Okay. And everything is okay, meaning hand uh, operator enabled, EF one and the fault bond, no fire alarm. Then the number is open, then this is one of the conditions wherein we can start our run. Okay. Then what else? Uh, okay. Then, of course, this condition should start also our. This condition should start also our. Let's try to. Go this way. Okay. okay. Now, time schedule. We need to use this also time schedule. Okay, we need to use the time schedule also here. Okay. Okay, so gen set, then but my funds are okay. Then start it. So meaning uh, we can remove this to end gate here. Okay. So I will remove this. And I will remove this. So what do I need to create as expression block wherein I will start this uh, or open or give the command to open the dumpers? Okay, so what are those? Okay, so okay. So look at this one. And time schedule. Okay, then, okay, so I think time schedule in this tree and gen set time schedule, then this, okay, I think I need an expression block here, no, no. expression block, okay, binary, I need for input A and B and C, okay. Okay, so meaning I need to start this, create a node here. Okay, now ah, A and B and B and T. Now I think I need to add additional. Okay, anyway, we just A, B, C, and D. Okay, so what are the conditions to start or open the number? Okay. Mm. Okay, I think A or I think I need to change this to or. This is or. I think I need to change it to or. Okay, so and is being represented by the ampersand sign and this bar sign or bar sign or straight line is for the or. Okay, so A or A or B and C and Z. Okay. So meaning, if it is time schedule here, so I will create a node here, time schedule. Okay. Okay, okay so let's start it here again. Okay, so meaning if it is time schedule or or okay then this one then this condition 
this condition okay so i will create a node here create a node here create a node so this condition Let's see if we can make it like this. Okay, now. And B. And uh, what else? What else? What else? Okay. And this condition, okay? Okay, because we want both funds are available or it's ready. That we can use it also in our where's the genset? Okay, genset is there. Okay, and we use it here. Okay, and the genset, ah, but it's already included in the gen, it's included there. Okay, so that, that will be a redundant one. Anyway, you can use that one, but genset is already used here. Okay, so we don't need to use, okay, so I will just remove one of the input here. A or B and C, okay. Okay, so meaning uh, then this one, this condition. And let's come here. Okay. Okay, I think okay, I can forgive this crooked line and also this one. Then we will open it, but for uh, okay, then for starting, I think I need to remove also this line, this gates here. Okay, delete. So, believe me. Make it there. Okay, so when I'm going to start this, okay, when I'm going to start this one, so this one has to go. Okay, let's put it here. Okay, then let's remove this crooked line here. Okay, let's make our logic clean and neat. Okay, then this one I will remove this. Okay, anyway, I will remove this. Okay. this. Okay, there are several ways of removing the node. Okay, so this one actually I tried. Okay, so this one is there and this one is here. Okay, so I will use this one. Create a node here. Guys, I hope you are following, uh, following what I'm doing here. If you are a beginner, you will find it a little bit, a little confusing, but uh, practice, you will get the hang of it, okay? Now here, when I'm going to start my, okay, so here I'm going to create, so I can like this one, like this one, I need an or, okay? Okay, this one time is scheduled. I think I need to replace this one with or, okay. Okay, and it's in there. I think I need to replace this one with or. Anyway, I need to see if this one will be okay. So I need to, so I need here the same expression like this, okay. Let me copy this one, control C, control C. To use that one here also. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, we will see what about my or happened to my or. This one, this one. Aha. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, I think there's some redundant uh, condition there. But anyway, we can try to uh, 
polish it in the next tutorial, okay? So let, let me just finish this, okay? Complete, okay. So this one, so I'm going to start my one if this is true, okay? So if this is true, I'm going to start my fun, okay? Then what else? If generator set, but it's already there, okay? So I, I will remove this. Okay, I will remove this. This one. And what else? If this is true, gen set, then SF1, then SF damper, okay? So SF damper. A, A and B, okay, so I will change this to N, okay, let me change this to N, and this one is, hmm. okay, Or C. Okay, so let me just try to just complete. Okay, anyway. Uh, okay, if this is true and SF number status is true. Okay, so let's see. Maybe later we can try to repolish our logic. Or Time schedule, but this one time schedule is there. Time schedule is there. Okay, so I will remove this. I will remove the or here. Okay. So again, my then I will remove this. So I will try to put an or gate here into the core. Okay. So anyway, uh, okay. So this is true. Okay. So meaning, if this is okay, if this is okay, and damper. And damper status is okay. Damper status is okay. Then start it. But let's say it is for the testing. I can say this is for testing. Okay, so I will okay, I will try to put an end gate here. Okay. Just for the simplicity to the logic, I'm going to use that one. This time schedule, okay, this time schedule, I will use it also. Okay, then, of course, this one is okay. Okay, hopefully this one uh, did not change our logic, but just try to simplify the logic through the use of this expression block. Okay, now guys, uh, actually the purpose of this uh, part A is to eliminate the several combination of logic gates like and, not, or, not, and or. Okay, so anyway, let me just save this one. Save. Okay, then if I will try to simulate, okay, there's no problem with the, all the inputs are connected. So just to simulate this, okay, let's see if I can simulate this one. Okay, so I will give, um, uh, where's my, okay, so what's happening here? Uh, let's say the operator enabled the system, then Okay, I have one here. Now, why the, uh -huh, because we have a 
run. Uh, now, we don't have EF run status. So there's a problem here because, uh, okay, so there's a problem here. So this is one, okay, no problem. This is one and or time schedule, okay, and C, what is C? C, what is C here? EF damper, yeah, it's just one. EF damper is, yeah, EF damper is close, that's why it started. Right. Then also my SF damper, because SF damper is also, I think SF damper is also one. Where is that one? SF damper, yeah, it's all right, yeah. yeah it's okay, no problem. If there is fire, Okay, if there is fire, it should stop. Fire, alarm, okay, zero. Okay, zero, so everything was set to zero. Okay, good, let's remove the fire. Okay, okay. now I think the, the same logic is happening here. So let me go to the edit, okay. So guys, this is one of the ways wherein you can simplify your control logic program by using expression graph. Okay, just to wrap it up, I have used here one, two, three, four, four expression blocks, okay, to remove, or five rather, to remove some of the and or and not gate combination of it, okay. So guys, I hope uh, you already have a good knowledge now of function block programming, but as I said, uh, function block programming is a big syntax here, okay? So what we are trying to do is get an example, try to use it until we will be able to grasp the entire concept of function block programming. So this will be a very big uh, series of tutorial, okay? So guys, thank you very much for joining me here. This is Abe Santos, Santos Abe, by Santos by and Sadik Santos. Always wishing you a good day. Before I will end this one, God bless us all. Let's all be safe. And if you are new to my channel, please help me promote it by subscribing. And you can like, put your comment. And you can always uh, appreciate what I'm doing here by watching my uh, by watching my advertisement in each of my video. In that way, you are helping me uh, get something so that I can continuously do this tutorial, okay? Then I have also a, a super thanks there. There is a thank. Then whatever amount you can uh, share away, I will really appreciate it so that I keep on doing tutorials, keep acquiring some devices wherein I can use in my tutorial. So guys, thank you very much. Uh, bye for now.